Our scripture reading this evening comes again from Hebrews chapter 13. Finishing up our study in this portion of that letter, verses 17 to 19. Give you another moment to turn there. Nearing the end of this study in the epistle to the Hebrews, again, the reading will be in Hebrews 13, beginning in verse 17. I remind you as I read that these are the inspired, infallible, and inerrant words of the living God. Hebrews 13, beginning at verse 17. Obey your leaders and submit to them, for they are keeping watch over your souls as those who will have to give an account. Let them do this with joy and not with groaning, for that would be of no advantage to you. Pray for us, for we are sure that we have a clear conscience, desiring to act honorably in all things. I urge you the more earnestly to do this, in order that I may be restored to you the sooner. Thus far, God's holy word. Shall we pray? Our Heavenly Father, we thank you for leading us. That Jesus came as the good shepherd of the sheep, bringing his word to guide, direct, comfort, and protect them. We thank you, too, that you have appointed that there would be under shepherds, under Christ, to care for and guide the flock. Help us, Lord, tonight to consider again the significance of their role in our lives. And may, indeed, we look to them and be disposed to them as you would have us, that their work may indeed be an advantage and blessing to us. For we ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, last Sunday evening, I announced to you at the beginning of the sermon that we had four points 